Hey everyone, I'm back. This is Patrick with Talking Hidden Treasures. Today I have got Mike Stark with Arizona Silver. And thanks, Mike, for being here. Just want to get in touch with you and get a quick update about what you are doing hunting for hidden treasures. And uh, just tell me a little bit about uh, an update here. As the Fed is sitting here just pivoting left and right, we see that silver and gold and precious minerals have never been more in a demand than days like today. So help me understand what is Arizona doing over here to help fill this supply uh, gap that we see and meet the demand of our current economy? Thank you for that, Pat. Um, Arizona silver is in the midst, and I'll publicly say emerging on the next new discovery in Arizona. We have both gold and silver in our project, on our Philadelphia project. And we just commenced the 12 hole program in filling some areas where we have never drilled before. The biggest one being called the gap. That's a 300 meter section. We were able to get into roughly the middle of it, put seven holes into that area as well. Every single hole, 12 for 12, intersected the target which was intended to hit. That's pretty awesome. So you guys are digging, you're drilling. My question is what's next on the find? So you have 12 holes. What's happening next? What's on the radar? What can we look for in the next, like, let's say, couple of months? Because I'll definitely want to be okay. circling back when I'm out there in Arizona. I'm going to be talking hidden treasures and doing shows out there. So as I'm out in that area, I'm just thinking, when are we going to be able to see some production? And what are you thinking in terms of drilling? What, what do you see your timeline here? Okay, well, that's a good question as well. We do have another program in mind right away. It'll be a core program. We have 10 pads already constructed. So that will take place immediately upon the finish of these results, confirming what we've now seen as visible gold in the cuttings. To take it further than that, we have 40 whole program in line with some BLM permits that are possibly coming back very, very soon, in which we can dive deeper into our target, which approximately 12 to 1500 meters, sorry, 1500 feet, that we can test this system even deeper than before. Every single time we get down into the lower depths of eight to 600 feet, the grade on our material increases, which gives us great encouragement that the model that was created up to almost a year and a half ago by Greg Hahn, my VP of exploration, is likely coming to the forefront to be very factual. That is exciting. It's an open discovery, which is characteristic of deep seated, high high gram weight uh, or high, high high gold weight and it also complements silver some of our best results are two three grams gold down dip and as much as 90 grams silver so it's very very good grades we've got a high grade vein that's produced over 41 grams in a couple sections we have over 17 32 39 grams also in that high grade vein so it's very productive it shrinks and swells but yeah, we're now confirmed 1.7 kilometers long. I think that's really great. Can I can ask just like a little bit of a different question? I don't normally go here with a lot of people, but I, it does intrigue me a little bit. As I'm newer to this space and relative to the time I've been an investor in this space, help me understand when silver and gold prices start becoming in such high demand as we're seeing now, let's just take, for example, some banking failures we're seeing around globally, right? We start to see the banks buying up more gold and more silver. That drives up the prices uh, because the supply hasn't really changed. So right now, when we look at it, does it help you guys a lot when the price of gold and silver are higher and allowing you to explore more? Does that factor into how much you're able to push the gas on the pedal? I certainly do believe so. Yes, no question about it. The higher the demand, the higher the price of the commodity, and obviously the higher price of the share price on a good project will result as well. I've listened to many people a lot more knowledgeable than myself selling us that they can't sustain the demand or there's not enough of what they're supplying is, uh, even my wholesaler will I buy physical silver is telling me I have to wait three weeks for supply to come in. That has never happened before. I usually walk in, yeah. walk out with the commodity or the, you know, the product. That's not happening anymore. So we're having to wait it's a physical demand on the system. So, yeah, would yeah. you agree that right now we are seeing a ridiculous demand like we've never seen before? I, I mean, in my opinion, I'm seeing young guys, old people, the millennials, Gen Xers, Gen Zers, everyone is talking about it, not just the late night Rosalind Capital commercials anymore. 
couldn't agree with you more. Uh, I, I went to this supplier and I found a lineup. I've never seen a lineup before. There's three booths, but yet we couldn't get in because you had to wait. All three booths were full. There was approximately 15, 20 people in the lineup. And it, you know, it depends on the time and the day. Of course, all that's part of it. But I've never seen a lineup before. And I saw lineups over the last three weeks. And again, I'm buying small commodities, but I'm just chipping away, adding to my portfolio. Absolutely. We know for sure that there's not a, a, a demand that we're not going to see quenched here right now, especially when it comes to precious minerals too, like cobalt and other things coming forward with electric vehicles that we're going to need for batteries. So for me, seeing this demand is is pretty exciting. And when you guys tell me that you're hunting hidden treasures and you're finding hidden treasures, it's exciting to me. So I'm really excited to catch up with you guys in the future. Definitely look forward to seeing you guys at the Silver Symposium. And I uh, just want to thank you again for coming on today. Uh, look forward to having you back in the future, Mike. My pleasure. Thank you very much for the opportunity to be here.